Okay, this morning we're at the Coachilla Valley Preserve and it literally is like an oasis that's in the middle of the desert here. And we'll be seeing scenery like this. It's like from a different planet almost. It's like... Uh, we're in Jurassic Park right yeah, now. Yeah, we're in Jurassic Park. And it gets even cooler because we've already walked down here once. So we'll see if we can uh, capture it. Wow. On our last yarn. Still with you. Built by the Eagle Scouts. <laughs> Troop 1776. In 2012. Nice. Just pointing that out. So we just left our guide and we're on our own now. We're heading down to another oasis. It's about 0.9 miles. Mark is on his way and we'll see what that oasis looks like. And there's Mark stripping. Alrighty. Quite a bit warmer in the sun, huh? It's easier to hold my sweater like this. So I think I'm just going to <laughs> Whatever works for you, baby. I love my wife. She laughs at my jokes. She's nuts. <laughs> when you come in the desert and you're going to hit an oasis, you got to have layers. Mark came ready, doubled up. Beautiful. And actually, I have a swimming suit on under here, so that's my next layer. <laughs> Okay, so where we're going is that set of uh, Washington palm trees that are sticking up, and there's supposed to be a pond here. But actually, I have a much more serious concern I'm working with right now. Sue, if you'll pan down to my tennis shoes here. I've developed a serious squeak in this one, and to make matters worse, I also have developed a serious squeak in this one. Oh, my God. And these are relatively new. I oh. think that's Nike. When you're OCD, that bothers you, so I'm going to be squeaking now for the rest of this trip. Oh my gosh. I hope I can make it. What does that have to do with anything? The water does emerge warm about... 80 degrees at the north end of the pond. You can sometimes see the springs by the outlook platform on the north end of the pond. The water cools as it moves away from the source, sometimes differing as much as 30 degrees. Yeah. Oh. Okay.
So at this oasis, there's a pond, and it's just a wall of pond of uh, palm trees surrounding the whole pond. What's the matter, Mark? All right, here's a challenge. You can do it, Mark. You know, if I fall, we're not going to post it. If you fall, we're going to post it and then repeat it in slow motion. Oh yeah. Hmm. He's stuck. Step across on the rock. So much for the squeak. And the problem continues. pile of dirt, this whole rim here, actually is dirt that is pushed up through because that's part of the San Andreas Fault right there. So, you know, you think you're going to walk up to a big crack in the earth and there's going to be a big hole and you can yell down there and go, hello, 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 but that's not the case. Uh, and then this goes down further and converges with another fault that's basically a teenager in age compared to the San Andreas. And that teenager fault is actually the one that's causing a lot of the movement and earthquakes that's been happening, you know, in the more recent history yeah. now. Typical teen. Yeah. Causing trouble. <laughs> the desert is in bloom. You might want to come out over to, the, to your right, honey. And you can see where we were. I'm checking out the desert in bloom first. It's a great view from where we just were. This is the Oasis Pond. And it's, it's amazing that this is just like in the movies where they would depict an oasis and you'd think it's like a movie set. It, uh, can you imagine the welcoming feeling coming across this when you're roasting out in the middle of the yeah, desert? Yeah, there's a desert.
climbing up the vista and I'm so tempted to videotape what's around me. But it's so fantastic. I'm just going to wait till I get to the top. All right, almost there. All right, I'm at the vista. These are the huge mounds by the San Andrea Fault. What a view. Way over here, this is where we started. You can see the trees. Just gets better and better. There's the Oasis Pond. 